Okay, so this is a quick review for the uh, the premiere of Walking Dead Season 2, What Lies Ahead. Um, as you know, Season 1 ended with uh, the group being led by Rick leaving the CDC facility, um, which was put on a self-destruct by Dr. Jenner. Um, Jackie decided to stay behind, as did Andrea, only to change her mind. Um, based upon Dill's decision to stay with her um, as a result of Dill she decides that she's gonna get up out of there so the group moves on leaving Jackie behind who decides to uh, allow herself to go up in flames so we begin at episode 1 of season 2 with the group moving towards uh, this particular fort town they decide that they're gonna make a rush for it it's like 125 miles away from their current location um, whilst they're driving along, um, they end up running into a roadblock situation on the highway. Um, Dale's motorhome has more red issues, which I'm sure that we saw from at least a couple of times in the season one anyway. Um, so at this point, obviously, the, uh, the group are running low on fuel and supplies, which is a common situation in any apocalypse, regardless if they're zombies or not. And so they decide to take their time to replenish their stocks whilst on the highway. Um, essentially, it starts reasonably quickly. There's a lot of action within the first 20 minutes. Um, very suspenseful. Very interesting. Um, the things that happen in the beginning, uh, rules are actually broken consistency-wise from... Uh, episode 2 of the first season Guts and if you guys have seen that one then you'll know what I'm talking about when you watch episode 1 of season 2 uh, there's certain consistency issues but then these may have arisen from the original writers being fired um, it could have been that it could just be a general oversight on their part obviously you pick up on little things like these from time to time but it wasn't a, a complete deal breaker like it was okay it ended up working out alright um, as things get further into the episode and they get past their initial troubles, uh, you know, you start to realize that there's a lot of tension in between the group. You have issues with uh, Shane and Rick's wife, for example. Obviously, there are overhanging issues from the first season. Um, Andrea seems to have just become a complete bitch overnight, um, taking out her rage. Obviously, she lost her sister, so as a result of that, she just seems to have carried this into season two and it seems to have made her a worse person really um but the truth of the matter is this like obviously the the, the more they show us with the group the more we realize that they're having a lot of issues between a number of different characters it's great that they show that and it's absolutely brilliant for character development but the truth of the matter is this i came out to see zombies tonight and it was a little you know a little bit of a letdown really Considering that it was a 90 minute special, um, I do personally feel that they should have been way more action in it and far excited I'd been to, to see the episode. Uh, it was it was a bit more downplayed than what I'd expected and considering that back in the day 90 minutes, you could fit a whole movie in that. 90 minutes doesn't even get these guys off the highway really. So that's the way how it goes. Uh, I think for the episode there was way too many filler scenes, too much character related stuff and everyone pouring out their heart and everything else which is great in certain circumstances but again 90 minutes I didn't need to see that filled with that and again that was a little bit of a letdown um T-Dog T-Dog already having shown us how much of a fail he already is when he lost the key trying to free Moral on top of the roof in the, the first season shows us again how much of a dumbass he really is which again is very very unfortunate and somebody with the name T-Dog I'd expect him to have a bit more street smarts than that I don't really see him lasting very much longer because he's just a complete jackass to be perfectly honest with you like that guy could mess up a cup of coffee let's put it that way um, all in all as a fan of the show you have to really you do have to obviously watch the first episode um, but all in all 
it was a little bit disappointing it was built up to be this great thing and unfortunately it was rather disappointing the acting was excellent I can't fault that it was just that the way how the actual story went and what we really came out to see tonight it didn't really show up in the way that it should have done and I think they could do better so hopefully episode 2 um, begins and is better than the intro um, they leave us on a cliffhanger at the end of season sorry at the end of episode 1 leave us on a massive cliffhanger and they just just it just right there just cuts that's it but it was cool though it was alright um, hopefully the second one's better hopefully thanks <laughs>